I remember when The Sims 2 Open for Business first came out and I was so devastated that you couldn't run a hotel in it because that's all I wanted to do with it. But it was still a really good pack and I did get over it eventually. I ended up making restaurants all the time. Restaurants in The Sims 2 don't really make that much money, so I never managed to make a good one without using a money cheat. I'm changing that up today. I'm going to try and do it with just one sim at the start. I'm going to try and hire more employees and see if I can actually make a restaurant that's profitable without tearing my fucking hair out in the meantime because it's going to be really hard. But let's jump into it. So this is the lesser known twin of Nigel Lawson. Nigel Lawson, I don't know why he's skipping, but I have already given him level 10 cooking and this is his restaurant and this guy is going to be thoroughly disappointed because one, there's no food. Two, there's not even anything to buy, so I don't really know why you're here. Everyone, piss off. Right, I'm closing my business. All of you stop greeting each other. Get out for now. Don't worry. When you come, so stop loud. saying goodbye. Just go. Leave me alone. <laughs> Vicky Lewis. Say goodbye. We are just shaking fucking hands constantly. I am a chef. This is so unhygienic. So I'm going to build this into a bit of a restaurant now. There's not going to be much to it, at least at the start. And then I'm only going to let myself have a thousand simoleons to start with. And we're going to see if we can make this profitable. I am quite worried. I don't think I've ever done this before. I don't think I can do it. But let's find out. I did that thing that I do where I get too into it. So I have built more than I was planning on doing. But then I stopped halfway through, which is why it doesn't look great. I did forget a roof. <laughs> let me quickly fix that. Ooh, yes. They're all as bad as each other. Let's just go with that. Whatever. I've made sure there's only three tables in here. I don't even think I can handle three people, but we're going to have to try. But to make things easy for myself, I'm going to make some food now, just so it's on the side. There we go. There's the dish. Leave that. Then open business and be the host. Ah, uh, don't open those business. <laughs> Plan menu. So everything's on the menu right now. I think because I have level 10 cooking, I should be fine with removing anything that's not very high. And I'm hoping that means that I can sell it for more. I really don't know if that's how it works, but let's try it. There is not going to be a lot on this menu. We've got flapjacks twice though. So if you really want flapjacks, you've got them. I don't think those are flapjacks. <laughs> don't know what's happened there. Okay. It's a bit of a weird menu and it's mostly fish. So it's my nightmare restaurant. I'll leave the prices as they are now because I'm not sure how much it'll affect people people actually wanting to buy. Let's go be the host while we wait for people to turn up. Can you hang on a second? Houston! <laughs> Houston, we do have a fucking problem. You've been to this shop so many times and it only opened two minutes ago. First customer. I've already belittled them. Let me try a basic sell. Also, could you get out of there, Jade? I'm not even going to try that last name because that is a staff room. I thought the game crashed, but it was just a fucking witch appearing. Francis, why is your name so long? I am really glad that you're buying my food. Honestly, it means the world to me. But can you slow down? <laughs> I, I can't keep up with you when there's three of you. Oh yeah, my cash flow today is going to look weird. So we ignore the first day. Uh, because it says many, minus 20,000 because I used the mother load cheat. But then I got rid of it. I've still only got a thousand civilians now. Stop being the host, be the server. Oh, this is going to be so frustrating already. So there's your food. Now go be the chef. Oh. They're losing business favour already. Stop being the chef. Be the server. Quick. <laughs> I earned 72 simoleons there. That's not bad, actually. Oh, no, I didn't. I earned 59. <laughs> I'm lying to you. Okay, now be chef. Stop being the chef and be a server. Do you know what? Actually, this is more long-winded than it needs to be. Maybe I do need to hire someone already. Okay. Oh, all these fucking witches on the lot just won't stop casting spells. There you go. I don't know what I've made you there, but it looks like slop. All right. This is actually not too bad. I thought this was going to be a lot more stressful than it is. Yeah, you liked that first meal, didn't you? Back for more. Maybe when I was a kid, I was overreacting about how hard this is because it's going all right. Just keep trying to sell to you. Oh, congratulations. Your business is now rank one and you've gained a point to spend on business perks. Do I want to use cash straight away and then hire someone? Make this easier for myself. Yeah, give me the cash. There's only a thousand simoleons, but it's better than the no simoleons that I've been earning from selling this stuff. Stop hosting. You've hosted. He's been hissed. That's the past tense of host. Go cook some food. I keep going from this is nice and easy and relaxing to I'm immediately stressed the minute I have one customer. I do feel like I need some music in this place. Also, I've left a plate in front of a customer. That's so embarrassing. Clean that up. Oh, I've got two customers at once. <laughs> I'm stressing again. Yeah. Sit you down. There you go. I'll stop hosting. I'll start chefing. This is all right. Bought myself a little speaker. This is going to be lovely. It's more for the kitchen rather than all of you, sir. <laughs> all of you. There's one person here. Oh, these witches. Could you stop casting spells all the time? One of my old customers is calling me. Literally old. Grey air. But let me work, please. I haven't spoken for a while. I, I am starting to stress. I'm going to hire someone. <laughs> I keep saying it, but I am going to do it now. Let me serve this vampire something. The steak is extra bloody, if you'd like that. Okay, I'm going to I'll leave you to eat. Did I even give you food? I swear I dropped food in front of you. What are you doing? And it's disappeared from there. For Christ's sake. Let's try this again. Now, be a server. Well, he's not eating, but it keeps giving me customer loyalty points, and I'll take it. 
<laughs> I'm not going to fight against it, but I am going to hire someone because I can't. I can't do it anymore. Space first teen. I have a strong feeling I made that person. Who's cheat, Tara? Oh, she's an elder and she's 15 civilians an hour. I am all for fair rights for workers, but not when it comes to me running a business empire. So fuck it. <laughs> Tara, you come in and pain your shit. And space first, you know what? You might as well make a reappearance. I don't know where I've used you before, but you're hired. <laughs> Congrats. All right, I'm business rank two already. She's just coming for a little dance and I can't blame her. What an absolute fucking bot. And she does have, what's it called? What's that dance that people do where they have hair like that? Ballroom dancing? She has that hair. So it makes sense. I'm oh, a business lost favor because I didn't serve him a meal, but I did and I couldn't serve him another one. Can't find my business that unfavorable considering you've just come back. No! Oh, Samantha bastard. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Why are all of my old characters making a reappearance? Right, do you know what? Everyone, get out. I'm too stressed. Music, turn off. You're stressing me out too. Whew. I can actually tell that my body was like clenched up then. <laughs> this is genuinely stressful for me. Let me serve another dish and then I'm going to call in my employees. Uh, literally call them in, as in shout them in. Okay, I just turned that fucking off Tara. You two are terrible employees. I'm just going to let them bond while I clean up these cockroaches. Why did that cost me money? Oh shit, I'm paying them. <laughs> I forgot. I'm going to make Tara the hostess after I have a little cry. And then Space Face, I'm going to make you a server. I'm going to set your uniform as well. Those short shorts are not work appropriate and I won't be having it. I know you've got short hair, Tara, but I want you to physically force that hair out of your skull and make it longer from when you're at work, please. No, I'm not going to be silly, all right? I won't be silly just yet. So you can wear a nice sensible pantsuit. There you go. Space Face, I would tell you to take off that makeup, but you're obviously very protective because you put your hand through your face then. Now, what does a waitress wear? <sighs> I just can't resist. <laughs> I can't resist it. I have to do it. Do you not get the submarine helmet? I don't know what it's actually called. So that's what I'm calling it. No, you're allowed to dress like early 2000s Avril Lavigne. That's the theme of this restaurant. Anyway, let's get this open because I am losing money paying these for nothing. Then if I'm the chef, what happens? If I literally just chef all the time, will I not have to do anything? Because that honestly feels kind of boring. I can make the sales, I guess. Hang on, how much? I haven't actually priced my menu. How much am I selling this stuff for? Average. We're a good restaurant. Let's go expensive. Yes, buy it. My business is rank two. Give me more cash. Look at that. That positive cash flow. It looks bad because of the money I spent on the other one. But still, things have got worse. People are not buying because I've made it expensive, but they are just coming in to dance. Can this guy get out? <laughs> Let me throw a drink at this guy just to make him realize he's in a restaurant and he needs to get out if he's just going to come here to dance. I feel bad because he's having such a good time. But he does deserve that. Now, if I just speed through it, look at that. I am making money hand over fist. Am I making money? Technically, yes. Can everyone stop dancing? Why am I dancing too? Yes. Level three business. Give me more money. And I'm going to make things a bit more difficult for myself because there's not enough people in here. Well, there are, but they're just dancing. I'm going to build more seating. I'm probably going to do it outside because I don't really have much room in here, even though there's not that many tables in here. Then again, no one ever eats with anyone, do they? They always eat alone. So what if I just flip that chair around? Around. Very depressing, but someone can eat in that corner over there. Steal that chair too. And there we go. We can have five people eating at the same time. Oh shit. He's writing a review and he just, we didn't serve him. Come back. Come back, please. I'm going to get a bad review or no review at all because he's just fully fucking gone. Either get out or start paying. <laughs> That's worked. It's actually got him to stop fucking dancing for once. I think my prices might be too high. I'll put the prices back to... Do you know what? I'm going to put the prices to cheap so that people just keep buying and buying and I might lose a bit of money, but I have some... Anywhere from using all the... Well, I've got loads. <laughs> what am I worried about? Do you know what? Actually, menu prices, ridiculously cheap. I'm going to get so many people in this place. They won't know what's hit them. And then I'm going to spike the prices ridiculously. I think... Don't say pair tip me. I'm working harder. Kind of. I'm not really. I'm kind of making them do it for me. But still, I'm going to hire someone else to make sales for me. Anyone have a sales talent badge? No. Ah, like you're really charismatic and only 22 simoleons an hour. Whereas you are 47 simoleons an hour. You're less charismatic. But you're the CEO of a company and I want to ruin that for you, Diane. So come on down. <laughs> yes. You're here for your first day of work. You're already kind of dressed like a saleswoman, I guess. I can't make you sell stuff. Why? <laughs> oh, space face. This is why I don't let employees keep their tips. I'm taking that last one. Diane, I'm not going to lie. I don't know what to do with you. I'm really sorry I made you quit your job. <laughs> um, can you just be the chef? I don't want to do it. But she can't cook for shit. So let's see if this actually makes good food. I imagine not. Yeah, she didn't like it. Okay, Diane, I'm so sorry. One bad meal and you're fired. Get out of here. 
No, no, no. Oh, God, that's lost us a lot of business further. <laughs> She's very mad. Who is this woman? Why does she keep calling me? Shall I hire her? <laughs> Vicky Lewis, you've got two first names. Do you want to work for me? Call Sim. She's my closest friend, which is actually one of the most sad things going because I don't really know her. Come round. I'm making a bake to Alaska right now. You can get one here for starters. And why would you call me so much if you weren't interested in hanging out? What's your game, Vicky? I don't understand what you want. No, 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 no. <laughs> Space face. I've had enough. I can't handle this job anymore. I quit. Well, I guess I'll do the work myself. Be the host because she's on a break. Oh, and there's selfish bastard. So that's where, what's her name? That other bastard that I saw. <laughs> that's her husband. Okay, I best be the server then. She won't stay at work. I need to send her home, I know, but oh, please. It's this table. It's cursed. I can't keep up. There's too many people. There's literally one more than I ever used to have and it's too much. Tara, get to work, please. Do you know what? Send home for the day. Everyone, get out. <laughs> I'm closing the business. I'm stressed again. Tara, for someone who doesn't want to work, you want to be here a lot. Could you please just go? How long before I can call her again? Like, I don't want to be a horrible boss or anything, but I also don't want to do this. <laughs> I don't want to do the work. It is really stressing me. Um, <laughs> Our needs are pretty bad too. At least I can afford a fancy fridge for the break room. I don't know what I can make because I don't know where I can cook it. Make a single plate. Of ramen. We're having breakfast ramen. Make many of those because then I don't have to keep making. So I'm just going to make loads of ramen, stick it in the fridge, and then it's just there. Every time the game lags, I think it's about to crash, but it's not. It's a fucking witch, of course. And do you know what? I'm not going to be the one to deal with it anymore. She's going to have to find a way to magic herself out of this because I... Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not dealing with it. She survived. She moved that cat out the way. It isn't a real cat. It is a spectral cat. So just so you know, if it does die... <laughs> it's not me. It's not me. I didn't make it happen. Now she's on fire. Wait, the rain put it out because I didn't put a roof on it. <laughs> Please. I would say it's ruined the way the restaurant looks, but it never looked good to start with, so it's fine. Third time's the charm. Business favor is going way down, but she's dying. I hope. Yeah. I thought I was going to go mourn for her, but I'm trying to step on cockroaches. That witch can be a decoration for the kitchen. Go sleep over there. A guy can't even get a good nap without Vicky Lewis fucking calling and bothering me. I cannot get a good night's sleep. So I'm going to stick in a Murphy bed and I know it clipping, it's clipping through that window. So I'll just put it there, which is a bit weird still because it's kind of clipping through the microwave now. But it gives your food a real wood fired feeling. So it, it's good. It's nice. OK, we are ready for another day. I do have a shower in our public toilet now, but it's fine. Needs must and everything. Let's call in employees and get the business open. Do I only have one employee now? I can't remember. She's already not working. Tara, <laughs> I've given you so much money. Is she not? Have I not assigned her as a hostess anymore? She seems shocked by that. She seems like it's the first time I told her to be a hostess. So fine. Yeah, go for it. I will be a server while you do that. There you go. Now I have to go and be a chef again. I can't keep up with this, actually. Why did I fire Diane back then? <laughs> Gothy Desperate is another one that is definitely one of mine. <laughs> Why have I made so many weird sims? Here, you're cheap. Come on, Marilena. Call in employees. Quick, because the business is getting worse. Oh, shit. It's good I'm not serving. Here for your first day. Great. Be a server. Please, we can sort you out the uniform soon. But right now, my business is crumbling. And here we go. If I just zoom out and let him go about the business, it goes quite smoothly. Mainly because the food is cheap. But yeah, this isn't so bad. I'm just going to answer the phone. And I bet it's Vicky Lewis again. And if it is, I'm inviting her around. Because she obviously... Yeah, she wants something. I just don't know what. Vicky, get yourself around here. Actually, if I hire someone else to be a chef... Thing is, I've got to find someone with cooking skill. But I can hire people to work here. And then, then I can have a date with Vicky Lewis. Because that's clearly what she wants. So Lily's got cooking skill three, not the best. Michael is a surgeon. Do not fuck it. Michael, come here. You've got cooking three as well. And you, Lily. Now, while everyone's working for me and I don't have to do anything, let me ask Vicky out on a date. Is it too soon? Probably. I don't think she really likes me, but no, I don't think so. Vicky, what do you want? <laughs> what do you actually want from me? I'll make Lily a server as well. And then I don't actually think I'll have to do anything. I don't know if the food I'm making is good because he's not a very good chef, but they are playing pretty cheap prices, so... Less should be expecting this, right? Oh, uh, yeah. The food's burnt. <laughs> everything I've got on the menu is quite high difficulty as well. But my business still went up in fervor, even though everyone is disappointed with the food that they're getting. No, it went down. But the service is so good. <laughs> they don't care about the shit burnt food. Am I making money or losing money? Oh, I'm not profitable anymore. Ah, here we go. I'm going to get some more money in with a little espresso bar outside. I could put the effort in to make this a nice little patio, but instead it's just the same as the rest of the street. Yes. Okay, good. I can assign people as a barista. Michael, that's your job since you're here now. Be barista. This is how we get our business back. Again, I'm just letting it speed through. What on earth is going on in this bathroom? I'm turning the radio off for a bit because it's too distracting. She's getting so mad. She's about to smack poor little Tara in the face. Oh, Lily, you are close to getting fired here, girl. Uh -oh, I don't want to watch that. You are not an adult. There, I finally have signed her as a server. Now be a chef. 
Me be a chef. She be a server. I'm not even making any sense anymore. I'm getting stressed. <laughs> right, I'm sitting back. I think we're becoming a bit of a money-making machine here. It sounds good. I don't know if money is actually profitable. I'm putting the prices up again. It wasn't a good idea to put them so cheap. Let's just go for normal cheap, <laughs> not ridiculously cheap instead. I do have a lot of staff that I don't really need, and I probably don't need this barista out here. Although, she's got a coffee. Probably made about six quid off that so far. Well worth it for the 53 simoleons an hour I'm paying the barista. There we are. Business rank five. Do I just take more money? Oh, I can take all of the money. I've got 71,000 simoleons now. <laughs> okay, well, great. I'm just going to sit back. I know I keep saying this. I keep putting my hands up too. I don't know why I think I'm under fucking rest, but uh, I'm just going to see what happens if I just leave him to keep going. I keep forgetting to be a chef, but our ghost witch is still here. But yeah, sorry, I got distracted by her. I keep forgetting to make food, so our business isn't really going up in favor much anyway. I'm just going to hire loads of staff, like more than I'll ever need. And I'll just cook while everyone else does everything else. What's wrong with you? You're mad about the plates? There's one fucking dirty plate and it's not even stinking yet. Will you shut the fuck up? He also had a go at me when it was going at full speed and I need to get rid of him. Get out, Gilbert. I've hired four more employees. Let's call them in. They're all here. I should put them in a uniform, but it's fine. Be a server. You can tidy up and whoever you are, you can be a server too. We've just got four servers, whatever. It is a mess in this place. There's too many people. <laughs> And the girls keep scaring all my staff. This is such a mess. I think I'm ruining the business. <laughs> but I am rich, so does it really matter? I read that giving Sims swings makes them more likely to spend money. I don't know why that is the case. And this was on a forum for like 14 years ago, so there's a very, very high chance it was written by a child. But <laughs> maybe they're right. This place is so cramped. Okay, thank you, Michael. <laughs> he quit. That's helped. The business is doing too well. It's changing me as a person. I'm losing who I am. So there we go. Everyone's taking this surprisingly well. I feel bad. I've made actual hell because they just can't die. Uh, he just died while I said that. But I did manage to make a profitable business, even if it was only through perks. But I think I'm going to have to end it there. Well, I guess that counts as a profitable restaurant, but I don't know. I did have fun. I found it really stressful. And we didn't actually make our own money. Money really, even when the prices were normal and when they were too high, I couldn't convince anyone to buy the food. I don't know why it's that difficult, but there you go. So thanks for joining me for another one. I do really appreciate you being here. If you haven't turned on notifications for the channel, I think you should. And if you haven't subscribed already, then please do. But I will catch you in the next one. So I'll see you then.